everyone uh, today I am going to do a video on a drainage density mapping simply and for that what we need is first of all we have to download a, a digital elevation model DIM file from uh, your uh, USGS Earth Explorer or anything where you can find a fine resolution I am using 330M resolution DIM over here and here this is my dam and this is the study area basin that I have generated and now I am going to making a drainage map of my basin over here. This is the vector file of that drainage as I have already created and I have done a video on different stream order analysis to the water delineation mapping too. So you can uh, watch there too. Uh, to reach up to here and now after this we are going to dealing with, with the hydrology tool so I have already opened it uh, in spatial analysis tool in hydrology and here we can available lots of tool first of all what we have to do is we have to run uh, this fill tool that will that will make us our raster more smooth and and I am saving it in the default location you can see it here now after this what we have to do is uh, we have to go for a flow direction and you can simply use the that fill direction and you can simply go over click ok I am not saving it in my uh, folder as it is not a final product so I am going with the default location so here I am only using the inflow flow direction raster you can see the flow of the water denoted by the same color you can see it over here and for flow accumulation it takes little bit time yet it gives us a very dark image with a little bit sign of flow of water you can see it here the this is the flow accumulation output after this what we have to do is we are going with the raster calculation you can simply go with the uh, raster calculator sorry uh, yeah. map algebra raster calculator and you have to choose a flow accumulation and you have to take this inequality then go with I am going here with 10,000 so I am simply running it this raster calculator I am doing this uh, setting this limit you can see it here over here this is the uh, level of stream network we have obtained by using this uh, uh, equation or the inequality we have developed that help us to develop how dense network we want to create over here if you want to draw a network of small very small um, stream network too you can take a very low threshold value so after this we are going to doing uh, again going to this hydrology tool and dealing with the stream order you can take this and you can go with this input flow direction raster and go with this now you can see we can uncheck this we can uncheck this we can uncheck this we can uncheck this you can uncheck this one too 
and we can all can minimize this reduce this one and now we need this study area and this network and one stream to feature means this stream raster to this flow direction raster this one flow direction raster after this you can simply go with ok this is our network now you can check this one now this is our stream network now i am cancelling this and i am searching for focal statistics you can simply go with this and you over here you can have to input only your raster output raster <clears throat> we can know after this we are going to do here we can go by two different method so first of all i am going to show you by focal statistic method first of all focal statistics method first of all and i am going to do here you can see we can make a uh, differential difference after the output of it so first of all i am going to use input raster as uh, this one after this circle in this i am going with the for 25 and you can read all about this information every attribute over here it has provided with clearance so uh, without delaying i am using here sum of total uh, length I am using sum, calculate the sum total of all the values of the cells in the neighborhood. After this, you can simply go with raster analysis, and I am putting dem size as same of that, and masking my catchment or the watershed area that I have derived. If you don't know how to do, you can simply go to my previous video. Uh, where I have done it you can see uh, this output over here uh, you can change the color ramp or better output looking now you can see this is the output we are looking for uh, and you can see our output now we are going to calculate you can interpret this also or another method is going through the line density method sorry i have delete that one i prefer line density over the focal statistics you can simply go with this go to the spatial analyst tool and you can use that too and I am using this pull line feature that we have developed and in population field we are going to use Greek code you can simply see it over here we are going to use this field one Greek code field that will accumulate all the same Greek field in one order and help us to calculate it later on so now after this what we have to do is uh, we have to assign this one output cell size and I am using square kilometer over here so you can simply use uh, uh, just go to raster calculator and use same as our original dem size and max over 
with this one uh, catchment is or the water set or the basin area and with this we gonna get a output over here you can simply see uh, go over the result over here and you can see here Uh, we can we haven't run it we have misunderstood with that so we have to put it once again as I have previously mentioned don't get little bit confused too with it just go with this same as dem layer one and max is catchment and you can simply go with okay over here now you can see our work is running as yes, previously we have cancelled our tax so it is not showing so now you can see it here uh, we are going to using this uh, stretch one as yes, it looks little bit easier to make you explain with it too and with the this you can see we have just used this catchment to max according to our area so we can make it leap and we can uncheck this one too now this is our output out of the drainage density map and in the table we have to first of all go to attribute table and we have to add a new field over here now I am going to add a separate new field area float ok calculate your geometry area I am gonna use square kilometer over here and after this square kilometer I am going to uh, with, with this streamline network too we have to go to this attribute and create a new field over here to for a length LENGTS length and you can use same is the area what we have done and you can simply go to this calculate geometry and provide this one and I am going with the kilometer is our previous uh, is also with the kilometer so I am going with this now you can simply click right click and go to statistics and you can see the sum of this and it will show you uh, the sum of the total length of the stream network and what does it will show you is uh, this uh, value drainage value represent or the shows us about the uh, infiltration rate and uh, I am copying this value first of all later on we will discuss about it too now after copying go to the catchment one open area and just add field another and here you can take it as drainage density so I am using just as drainage density and go with this one and just go to field calculator Mm, drainage density means uh, drainage total drainage stream network length that we have created uh, by the sum we have copied by equal to control B by area by area of our basin. we have to do it again we have to go with this and we have to give it as density we are just giving density over here and we are going with the same procedure and here we are going with uh, our area 
you can see this is our drainage density now after this we have calculated our drainage density is yes, this drainage density has calculated the value in meter so it has little change meter square it has little change value but you can see the output change you can see it the sorry the change you can see the change you can analysis with the detail analysis with your value from this part so with this uh, you can see it we have calculated our stream network over here so thank you keep watching we will be seeing you in the next video